Hello everyone, I'm Fresh Prince with another Total War Warhammer 2. Let's play episode with the Silence and the Fury DLC as Thoric. I am Brow. Now over here. As you can see actually, we're continuing. Finally, yes, because I'm very still way busier than you know I've ever been and will continue to be super busy. But that said. Um yeah, we're gonna have to keep this rolling, and I don't even remember what the hell was going on actually in this, so yeah, we gotta look at it. First things first, we got technology here, uh, yes. Uh, we also have some troops here, we gotta deal with this stack. Now, we're gonna lose this over here, which is honestly okay, as long as we have to go to provinces, we can't lose the sa anything in Saturn's uh, spine of Sotek. Nothing here. Uh, we're not allowed to lose anything here. And of course, Forbidden Jungle. Now, Rectoral Isles. We can lose some stuff here. Who cares? Models actually have improved. But what we gotta do here is we actually have to take out this army and then, yeah. Probably take out that dude over there and, yeah, just, just hold basically. Which is what we've been doing for so long, but hey. I guess we're gonna keep on doing it. Now, Settlements of Seti, the Chamber of Visions, oh my god, they actually... That's why it's so bad, because, yeah, I remember they sacked it or something like that. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay. Well, this dude is going to recruit a couple more dudes. So, yeah, you're gonna get those guys ready. You also are going to go to Forbidden Jungle, and no, you will not upgrade that. Or this, rather. Um, we might want money here, that said. This takes two turns, right? So, yeah, this takes six turns. Two turns for, like, a bunch of money might pay for itself. This is two turns also. Yeah, I mean, that might pay for itself eventually, so you know what. I mean, should we, though? That is also another question. Because this can go to tier four eventually, right? So, 236. This goes, yeah, we probably want the trinket maker because who's gonna care about like these this stuff, right? So, yeah, just 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 make more money, we can disable it anyways. After right, so, we're gonna attack him here for the lightning strike, and we could do we actually don't lose anything amazing, but we probably want to fight it anyway. So, let's do it. Right now, the reason why we're playing this, even though, you know, if we auto-resolve, we wouldn't have lost a single unit. Well, it's because um, we want to be as efficient as we can. If it didn't matter, I would just auto-resolve. Like, if we weren't going to get into a settlement, reinforce anyway with no issues. But the problem is there's a bunch of armies around us. Well, but potentially, so yeah. We want to make sure that we deal with them... Uh, before too long. So now we got three, four, five here, six, yes. Bam. Bam. Now next we're gonna put this into guard mode. We're also gonna select a few of the hammers here, a bunch more of these iron breakers also in guard mode. I'm gonna send, so let's send this unit over there. These guys are in guard mode and let's begin. Actually, we're the one that attacked, so I guess. I guess we're gonna have to be the ones to move up as well, okay. I don't think they have artillery, do they? They actually have an interesting amount of, uh, yeah, other stuff. Okay, so we're gonna move up, because we pretty much have to. We don't have to, but, ooh, okay, that was actually quite damaging, to be fair. Okay, so this should be able to soon target whatever stuff they have. Should be pretty good. Oh my goodness, that Tomb Guard took so much damage. Look at that. That is it's an insane amount of damage that it just took. Holy crap. Holy crap. And they're not really attacking us. Okay, 64. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's now crumbling. Great. So let's just target the neck our warriors. And by the way, why are they not attacking us? That doesn't make much sense, but I'll take it, I guess. And here's Thoric. Yep. Now the fear stuff doesn't really matter, of course, but yeah. Ooh, my goodness, the hits here. Look at this one. That's 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 just 
beautiful. Oh, that's gonna do damage. Yep. Ah, that was fairly annoying, but hey. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start turning around our troops. So we gotta do that. Oh wow, that, okay, so that, that was pretty darn good there. We're just gonna start targeting other troops now though. Okay, that's another Tomb Guard, okay. Fair, kill the Tomb Guard. How many kills? 108, very good. And the battle hasn't even started yet. Now we've got the Quarrelers in play here. Also gonna have to send these guys over to slow down the enemy. That's the goal here. Of course, the shooty shooty is coming in, and the car warriors will take massive damage indeed. From that, we got these guys over here, we got this guy over here as well. That's very good. Just slow down the enemy, you know? That's all you gotta do. Um, they've got some troops here that we gotta be a little bit worried about. So, yeah. Just gotta be slightly careful with those. Holy moly, look at that. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to engage into those. These guys are doing work here. These guys are also gonna be doing work here. Okay, look at that. Um, they're spawning something here, so we gotta disengage. This is also gonna be... Yeah, we should probably be targeting the blobs here. It's gonna be most important. We wanna engage onto those. Send those in there. There's nothing behind us right now. We're gonna pop that anyway, just in case. We're gonna engage in there in melee. This guy's probably doing more than fine. Victory's in our grasp, so everything is just gonna go down. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> because down here we're gonna pop this. The these guys are engaging, which is very good. And everything is just disintegrating as you'd expect, because they got smacked. We didn't. We lost barely enough. Uh, yeah, we have we barely lost anything, so that's very good. Indeed, there is a there is Kalita. Actually, she's gonna go down at some point. It's actually on full HP, but yeah. Eventually, she will also go down here. Gonna start disintegrating very very soon. I think she's already probably disintegrating, but. There we go, we're gonna start sending more of the guys in here. If we do that, that's gonna be more than fine. Let's pop that. Give me some nice buffs. Send the dude in here. These guys are handling the issue. There she is, she's now disintegrating and everything is gonna be just fine. There you go. Down she goes. Eliminated. My lord is wounded and decisive victory as we desired. All right, so now that we're out, we have a couple options here. Ransom captives or drink to victory. We're going to do drink to victory since, you know, we hold this local province. So, yeah. Ooh, trade gain. Kalida never living. Where queen was defeated once before in life, fatally. Although she was saved by the blessings of the Asp goddess then, they cannot save her now. Indeed. Creep rank plus two for... Uh, plus 30 with counts. Okay. Oh, we have the gyro bomber. Dwarf bride. Huh? Okay. With a hefty dowry by tradition, her weight, oh, which probably explain, explains why hot blooded dwarfs take to curve your mates. Okay, okay. Now, who's leveled up here? You have a skill point, which is awesome. All right, so we can max out tactician here, which is gonna be brutal. A thunderer is pretty cool too, but fine, everything here is. Pretty awesome. Thunderers could be good too, actually. Yeah. Uh, no. It doesn't actually buff the Thunderers, that's the thing. Okay, so we massacred those. We gotta level this dude up, so he, we're gonna increase the spread public order, because, you know, we're gonna have to get way higher public order. Now, this right here, we don't really want to touch that, so that's fine. Now, if we go out here, we press space, and we go to diplomatic status. You can see we got quite the issues here because if we go to diplomacy, we're with like three people and we cannot fix it. So yeah, this guy is like, eh, it's actually improving somehow. Why? Because military actions, blah, blah, blah. No peace, huh? Okay. Now the blessed dread. Of course. 
No, strength rank 13, strength rank 26, and she's actually 17 because we wiped out a lot of her stuff. That makes a little bit more sense, yeah. Alright, so we gotta deal with this, then we gotta defend the Great Turtle Isle, which is... Hmm, what do we got here? Oh, we do have some Great Weapon Quarrelers, not bad. But of course, these guys are gonna have to hold here, and that's gonna be problematic. But for now, time to end turn. Alright, so as I mentioned, the turn is over, but we got a grudge, actually. The Raiding Druki Grudge. Witnessed by Valea, the filthy murder-worshipping Elgi raid our lands, stop these thin-skinned wazzocks, and settle this grudge. Yes. Indeed! So, we're gonna first go to provinces, go check this one here. Looks fine. And now we're just gonna take them out. We're gonna move this unit here, because we need to have somebody in there. Then we're going to probably recruit a couple of guys here, shouldn't we? I mean, in regiments of renown, we can always recruit them no matter what, but yeah. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fight them out here. Wow, okay. Holy moly, they retreat really far. Actually, insane how far they retreated, but okay. Well, we're gonna be able to just block them off there. I don't care who attacks us, they're not gonna be able to do anything. Now, here, the public order is decreasing, which is a huge problem. Why is it decreasing? Because of difficulty level taxes, events. Events, huh? Ah, yes, angry gods. Two more turns. That's not gonna be that much. Now, this guy here, when he's up, we're gonna go full on uh, walls there but this seems to be it for this turn actually so I think we're just gonna hmm okay that's actually tempting uh, to make more troops that is so let's check out what will finish first well I also what else oh my god he's coming here with like two stacks so we're gonna have to wipe that out mud Isles and great turtle isle yeah we have to defend here to take out Kalida stuff, but for now, this guy also will be a problem. So, Siren Sound of Spine of Sotek. We can't do anything here for three more turns, but then we're gonna be able to pop that. So, yeah, we're gonna need a bunch of money soon. Here as well, because we're gonna be able to build a wall. Now, here, what we can do is we can recruit the next set of quarrelers, actually. Some charge bonus? Okay, nah. Just get the next set of random quarrelers for now. And then we're gonna get some some actual... Well, we can get long beards, which sucks. But if we level this up, we could get some long beards. But whatever. Okay. That's, that's fine. Let's just end turn and hope for the best. Ah, yes. So there you go. We got some raiding going on here. But we are safe. Technically. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we could theoretically build this, but eh. Is it that really that important? It's pretty cool, but still doesn't feel like it's worth it, perhaps. So yeah. What is definitely worth it though is the walls here in the Chamber of Visions. If they come in from the north, which is always possible, they might just go in and kill us. Now the problem here is of course. We're unable to reach that, even though it's our own land. Like, it's really, really sad. Like, super sad. The Mon Isles here, we are making some cash from those, which is good. Our Sentinels of Seti here, we can make some other unit here. Which should probably be some Dwarf Warriors, ideally, right? Yeah, and then now we're barely... We're barely gonna be losing money now, I guess, right? So, yeah. Once we engage here, we'll do much better. Right, so. Oh, this uninhabitable climate, untainted, reach control, very low. I mean, we're gonna have to abandon this at some point, right? So, hmm. But we should go crazier on this as well, right? So. All right, let's end turn once again. Okay, so it's gonna be our turn again, and there it is. Assault garrison. It succeeded, so now these guys are all pretty wounded, but we do have a stack here that's capable of defending as well. 
King Balfres there. It's a good thing we have a second army, even though, you know, it's pretty affected. So, okay. Time to attack these all these guys over here. Go for Moransti. It can actually retreat there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. First of all, we're going to be attacking this. Because we have to take out an army. So, we have to do this. I feel like if we lightning strike here, we should be more than fine, right? So let's do it. Boom. I mean, there's nothing dying, right? So ah, we didn't lose much at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to execute and loot. Kill the enemy in battle. I'm going to chase this dude here. Oh, follower gained. Teller of tails. Really? Okay. Well, we, now that we got this, we should be looking at... Improving some other things, right? So there's a lot of interesting things here. So yeah, okay. Thunders, cannons, and organ gun units. Okay. Now we firepower. This is really, really cool stuff. Thunders, Rangers, blah blah blah. Okay. Honored by Grimnir, Morgrim's favorite. Bolt throw, grudge throwers. There's a lot of cool stuff here that we gotta think about, but for now there's nothing here. Pure beard. I mean, there's some... There's actually no one tainted here. <laughs> okay, this guy. We can look at this guy first. We need Resolute, huh? It does, none of this seems that great, so we gotta go with Blade Master. Well, this guy is level 31. We gotta think about what we go for next. So we could go for some runes, or we could just keep making him super powerful. Like, buff his units. I feel like maybe we don't need to go crazy on the rest, right? Like, we just make them strong. So the Tician, the Grimnir's Heirs, the Thunderer stuff. In favor. I mean, there's a lot of interesting stuff for sure. Cannon and Organ Gun buffs? Which one is it? Yeah, Missile Strength. It might be interesting, actually, because if we go for Artillery, like more artillery we can just you know what Let, let's let's try that you know so we go for a lot of um grudge store cannon organ gun stuff that seems pretty interesting right so do we have any other buff for those in fact doesn't seem like it so yeah we're gonna go for oh it actually does buff bolt throwers okay just go for thunderers then right yeah that's gonna be interesting stuff indeed. Wait, thunder! Oh, the, it doesn't buff the bolt throwers. Never mind. Yeah, cannon and organ gun, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely want Dowie firepower. <laughs> so we have no choice in getting there. I mean, we have to get there. Is my point. All right. So we do have some money here, which we're waiting on. Sandals of Seti here. This is very problematic right now. We kind of should recruit something here, right? So, Giant Slayers. There's some of these really cost a lot. Um, the Scolder Guard, some big Iron Drakes, huh? Ulthar's Raiders as well. We're gonna get them because we need them. I have 13, and then these guys here as well. And if we attack them, we will not get our garrison in play, which sucks. But this is what it has to be, so we enter. All right, so now we're under siege. Uh, grudge too far. Wrong put right. Yes. I mean, has wronged us, but writing this grudge will cost us deeply. Maybe just this once we should ignore the slight and focus on the grander objective. Yeah, whatever. Get some leadership for now. I was going to recruit more units, so that's correct. Okay. We got to get the hell out of here. For sure. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna attack out here. Or should I? First decline attack, yeah. We need to look at what else we can build. Yeah, nothing really. We have the population surplus here, but we don't have the money. So what we're gonna do is... I'm gonna... Yeah, we wasted time here actually. Over on these islands when we could have focused on other stuff. It was a huge blunder on our part, but it is what it is. Now here we're gonna have to attack out. We are getting a valiant defeat, huh? Okay. We have to control everyone here and yeah, these quarrelers and this army might be enough, so let's try. Okay, so we have arrived. Now it's time to go back here. 
Make, get some stuff going. Set up the dwarf warriors. Oh my goodness, they're all the way over there. Um, yeah, we're really gonna need those for sure. Okay, what we're gonna do now is those are some close quarter units. Okay, I'm gonna send those up front. Then I'm gonna send the next ones up front. Right. I mean, right behind them, not up front. What am I saying? Okay. This dude will be up center. We're gonna start battle. And hopefully these guys are all gonna arrive just in time. Okay. So now we're just gonna wanna keep moving these guys up. This guy will be up like right here. And hopefully, just hopefully we survive. That's 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 really the hope right now. A big hope, but hey. We got big dreams, right? Now this, there's gonna be a lot of stuff here that hopefully, you know, we're gonna be able to use to our advantage. Because we got the garrison here, and now the garrison can, of course, theoretically slow them down, and hopefully enough. So that they don't reach our main actual army. Oh, this right here is pretty interesting. Lower armor. Oh yeah, that's a really good one. Lowers armor, missile resistance, and missile parry. So that, that seems pretty darn promising to me. You know? Okay. Alright, so they're, they're finally moving up here. And yes. Alright. I mean, we got long ears and stuff. These guys got took a little bit of damage, which is very annoying, but hey. does look like their skeleton archers are trying to fire in and they're firing into dwarf warriors which high armor bronze shield so they block 35 percent of all the stuff which is great they're moving up now so they're gonna be shot as well eventually the dwarf warriors will fall just because of the amount of fire they're pouring in here but the big deal here is these these guys that's like the big problem all the chariots so yeah Okay, so target down Darushapti. Because we debuffed it, so it should fall very, very quickly. Okay. Target the next Ushapti, then target this, by the way, now. Okay, all so far so good here, right? Yep. Gonna have to go into the next one. Okay, you guys gotta target that. I mean, we're looking pretty good here, right? So, okay, please move up over on that side. Okay, okay, take down the skeleton chariots. Please, please do that. Okay, we gotta send the lord in there. Ooh, those shots will be pretty good, by the way. Like, what we gotta do right now is take out all the freaking skeleton archers, right? Like, just take out their archers. We'll be in good shape. Take down those skeleton chariots as well. Yeah, this should be doing some pretty good damage there. Oh, they're gonna start spawning some stuff on us, which... Is gonna be pretty unfortunate, actually, over here. We did disengage here, which is pretty good, but still. And we're really taking those out, which is, again, very good. These guys are gonna hold uh, them very nicely there. Basically, we've won at this point with our army, which is very good. We can't pop that again, but that's fine. Everything should be going down, though. We have held our ground here. Which is what we need, was needed, you know. Otherwise, we would have been in a lot of trouble if we didn't do that. Alright, so now we're gonna get in there. We're gonna be able to keep targeting some of their stuff. Oh, we actually need to take down that skeleton unit. Okay, we might actually lose some of these longbeards, though, which would be. I mean, those are longbeards that aren't ours, I think. 
But that's not the end of the world if we do end up losing them. Oh my god. I actually sent those from behind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Everything is done. Everything is going to be in critical binding and we'll actually start disintegrating. As you can see over here. And there they go. Disintegrating. Close victory. Indeed. Time to go back to uh, the campaign map. Alright, so we've returned again. What we're gonna do is... We're gonna go again for the Ransom Captives. Boom. Because that's very good. We need all the money. We're actually gonna be able to buy this, because why not? We can assign some skill points to this dude. He's level 2 now. We're gonna go Root Marcher, of course, because that's just the best. Uh, we held here, that's huge. Um, we can theoretically recruit some stuff for him, but kind of not worth it. We can get a couple of dwarf warriors just to be sure here, but you know. Now, we'll lose this, we're gonna lose a bunch of money, but again, that's fine. I'm gonna send this dude here to take out Lock here. And to the north, we're actually gonna move down to the Golden Colossus. Go down to. This stuff here doesn't really make any money, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey. Alright, it's time to end turn again. Ah, yes, of course, Locke here is doing his stuff here. This is apparently a loss, which is very interesting, but I want to fight it. Alright, so we've loaded in. That took a lot longer than I expected for some reason. Um, we got a bunch of quarrelers with great weapons and stuff. These guys will go like this. Very good stuff. Alright, so these guys will all be here. We got some miners we'll be using as Mr. Meat Shields. Yep, Mr. Meat Shields are over here. We got our actual troops. And... Uh, yeah. I guess that seems to be about it, so... Luckily. Yep. Okay, so we're just gonna be targeting that. The whatever is in the middle might hit what's behind them as well anyway. Okay, good hit. Good first hit. Oh, we should send up the general. I don't know why we haven't done that yet, but that's pretty important. Right, so we're gonna turn our, our troops a little bit around here. Uh, okay, that should be able to give us some pretty good engagements there. Okay, we're gonna start targeting that and oh no 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 do not Ooh, okay that was actually pretty darn bad if uh, it actually had gone that way I'm gonna reposition slightly here of course okay so now we're basically in range or should be in range oh those those shots there should be beautiful by the way okay so now everything here should be able to be targeted. The problem is, yeah, they're shooting our units that don't really, units we don't really care about, so that's fine. Okay, we're all just focus firing on that one unit. It's gonna go down. I'm gonna send in a lot of those red spears, which again is absolutely fine. Send these guys further up here just a little bit. Actually, we need to go around so we don't annoy the grudge thrower, even though I don't think it really matters, just to be safe. Okay, so that's basically gone at this point. We're gonna target this unit instead. We're gonna target this too. Yes, um, hello, please just target that. Thank you very much. Yeah, so this is pretty good. The problem is the front line is starting to collapse. Because, but, that was the minor front line, which is, you know, the front line that's kind of like weaker and stuff. So that's good. That I mean, that's not good. We still have the other front line available. Now we can start targeting that. Okay. We can actually start targeting this with our artillery. Or should we even? I don't even know. Okay, yeah. We're gonna switch targets. Okay. Boom. Okay, so those are basically gone at this point. Now, Lockyer is going to be 
fairly annoying to deal with. We've got some of our miners coming back, which is huge, by the way. Let's send this guy in. Yep, there you go. Okay, that's that's awesome. Hopefully, we make sure that they never come back. Would be pretty good. Want you to start targeting that. They've actually got 17, so they got quite a few there. That's okay. Alright, so now Lockyer is doing quite a number on our troops, which is definitely annoying. He's definitely very, very annoying. Victory is in our grasp, so we might just win because, you know. <laughs> that that would be that that would be very good, you know. We just took out his army, so it's army losses, basically. So yeah, it's a good thing we actually fought this battle, huh? Yeah. And it's not fully over yet, you know. They still have a lot of these, but it should be over. Victories in our grasp means that, you know. It should be army losses soonish. Alright, just take that out. And there they go. That should be it. And they're gone. They are gone at this point. Just fast forward. Lockyer should be going down here. Yep. And with the fast forward, he's gonna be taking some damage. Looks like it'll take him ages to fall, but that's okay. I don't really care, so let's just... Heroic victory, that's nice. I don't remember the last time I saw this one. There you go, his army got mauled, he has nothing. Ah, we can drink the victory for sure. Very nice stuff. Ah, yes, now we have another battle we have to fight on the Mud Isles. But this one we're probably gonna lose. He's got some ogres. There's actually mostly. Oh, that's interesting. Definitely inter Oh, we have no walls. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about this. It. Just auto resolve. Yep. All right. So we lost that, which you know what it means. We lost a lot of cash, which is very bad. <laughs> Let us begin. What we gotta do now is we actually gotta move all over here. We're gonna do our nice little auto resolve. He's down. We, march. we took him out. Black heart, heart down, Bring which is huge. Oh my goodness. Thoric, what are you doing there? No, 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 no. Why did I move Thoric there? You know, that's not the idea. We're gonna have to go with. Not Mason, but Oath of Forging? No. no, 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 no. It's pure beard. And look at the amount of money we're losing now. That's, 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 that's just, just so huge. However, Thorik's gonna have to keep going down here. Ooh, okay, okay, that's that's actually quite the number. Now here, what we gotta do is, unfortunately, we gotta start dealing, uh, deleting some of our troops. Quite a few, actually. Now, the Force March here will be annoying. Let's, let's, let's be real. Uh, I cannot afford this growth building as much as I'd love it, so yeah. We're really fighting against time here, but... Look here, we got the ooh, grumbling. Yeah, we really need something else here, you know. Like that would be huge public order. Pu we really need public order at this point. Yeah. Uh, loyalty. No, no, no. Yeah, minus one k. So one battle would be able to. It was what we need. But right now we need this army to defend and this army to do something else. But Great Turtle Isle could just fall at any moment, and that's almost 1k and we're not gonna make that back easily like how's Varlhin's son is gonna go with deadly blade huh yeah let's go deadly blade some more attack and let's end turn again we're in real trouble aren't we <laughs> yeah I'm not sure how we can fix this easily so I feel like we should we have to delete some corollars here as much as it pains me. Now it's only minus 500, but still. It's good enough for defense, hopefully. All right, end turn. All right, so it's actually pretty much our turn immediately. There you go. Uh, we're only losing like 400 now. I say only, but that's still quite a lot considering. But we really need to increase this once we get the money, which hopefully we should be able to get it soon. Target of a grudge. Oh, okay. Which one is it? Uh, ah yes, the whole fake grudge. That's huge. That is pretty impressive. If we actually get this severity five, yes, that would that would be very good. So we should do it. 
Let's go. Let's go. Lightning strike. Close victory, huh? We're gonna lose some stuff, so that's actually very bad. Four. Yep, we're gonna have to fight it manually, of course. Alright, so there we go. We're over here in combat. Gonna have to set up our units properly. Now these guys here, we got a couple of iron breakers. These need guard mode for sure. Because they can spit out some stuff. A grumbling guard somewhere. And of course these guys are the last ones to get this. And we send the next few quarrelers up as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare. Oh my goodness, they actually spawned right in front of us. That's actually kind of crazy. Um, okay. So we're gonna have to just reposition literally everything right now. Okay. Okay, okay. Now we're just gonna walk up. Right, because that's what we do. Okay, okay, stop. Stop here too. Why are you moving up so so fast? That's not what I wanted, you know. Oh my god, that's a lot of Ushaptis there too, so that's kind of really bad. Oh my god, there's King Meshach here? Okay. Pop that, by the way. Okay, we need to send up the this Grumbling Guard quickly. Oh my goodness, they, they're gonna want that dude, which is gonna be bad if they do. They really do want him. Okay. Let's start targeting those Ushaptis. Here we're also gonna... We gotta take down the Carrions, by the way. Yeah, just kill those Carrions. And take out the next car Horseman. Okay. Get in there. As long as we take out most of the... Evil stuff, we should be fine. Evil stuff. <laughs> I was saying. Okay, these. There's a bunch of. Why are quarrelers inside quarrelers? That's not good. Disengage some quarrelers, disengage these two. They don't need to be within each other. Like, that's. Inefficient stuff. Okay, I believe we killed the enemy lord here. Now that's what I call a huge win. We gotta target down that stuff as well. And continue. Targeting most of their other things. Target this too. Everything seems to be dying just slowly or eventually, you know, which is good. Disengage here, disengage here, and you target this. The victory is in our grasp. Yeah, we basically won. So that's actually much quicker than I expected, but there you go. Now this, once again, did some work. It's always good. We should start... Turning around to target this. Yep, yep, yep. All looking good. Those cannons are gonna go now. Oh, they actually have some artillery pieces. Oh my god, that's actually quite a lot of damage. That said, nothing here really matters, so we're just gonna continue. Everything should be going down slowly. Yes, there you go. The disintegrations have started. Everything is in critical binding. It's now disintegrating the student scorpion as well. That's going to be a massive victory for us, actually. We really needed this uh, victory. And we got it. Nice close victory. All right, so we got our close victory. We lost some stuff, but it's all good. Now we, what we got to do now is just occupy. And we've got removed. Boo -boo -boo. Very good. We got treasury stuff. We got. Yeah, now we got extra money, which is good. We gotta max out the thunder stuff. Golden Colossus, we hold it, but we don't actually need that. The money is very good, though, of course. Um, now, these guys are there, but the Great Turtle Isle is, like, terrible. <laughs> it's not gonna be able to defend itself, that's the problem. Like, unless we send these guys out. And Sentinels of Seti doesn't have much. But, I think that's it for now. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll see you all.
next time.